what is going on guys thanks for checking out this video my sports gematria in this video i'm not gonna be talking about sports i'm gonna be talking about uh some news uh, i do this every so often sometimes i'll do a news thing mostly stuff that just kind of interests me i guess or that i'm curious about or it's intriguing but hawk to a girl hawk to a girl she made the news this week uh scamming her fans um out of some money and making uh, a cold million or two along the way and um yeah i just wanted to like check some numbers and just see you know because she's went viral earlier this year um and you know she always held herself as being too good to be one of those girls to sell feet pictures or get on only fans to capitalize on her viral fame uh so she says she's gonna take the honor route and she created a podcast i guess and now she's scamming her fans with crypto money so she definitely took the honorable route with that one other than just showing her boobies like everyone probably wanted her to to do anyway um talk to a girl i did a, i did a little post on her rug pull that she did this week and i just want to go over some numbers of her viral thing maybe why she's in the limelight maybe why she's been popular um with the news and with celebrities like this girl who had Basically, 200 followers on her Instagram overnight now has, uh, you know, a bunch of followers, is making millions of dollars and hanging out with celebrities. So it's just curious the situation with her this year. And uh, so I looked up some numbers and I'll, I'll go over them with you right here. I did a post earlier this week on it. Paktua and sex numbers. So with recent news of Haley Welch scamming the crypto community with a rug pull event Wednesday night, this past Wednesday, which was the 4th, I believe, of uh, my calendar. Yeah, the 4th of December. She came out with a new coin called Hawk Coin. Um, and it went up for 20 minutes and then it just went right back down. And everyone lost their money. At least the uh, consumers and fans lost their money. Wow, there's good uh indication that there's insider trading and she made a cold million a fee million in fees you know they put like a 17 percent transaction fee i think on all the all the uh, activity that night and so they made over a million in fees off of just the transactions alone uh not to mention the uh, insider trading and rug pulling and whatever i was wondering if there were any numbers around her that made some sense on why she even went viral in the first place and the number that i found what came from the word sex sex if you write it out sums to 33 this is the number that i found i'll show you guys what i'm talking about sex sex sums to 33. you write out sex it sums to 33. okay now Haley welch she was born on the 13th of July, written 13 slash 7, and the number 137 mathematically is the 33rd prime number. The word sex equals 33, and Welch went viral for talking about a sex act. She is said to be born in and a native to Tennessee. Tennessee sums to 137, the 33rd prime number. In the, the video, that went viral this video was recorded on june 9th written 6 slash 9. june 9th so some key dates here they recorded the video on june 9th they released it on june 11th she was starting to throw out the first pitch august 15th newsweek 9 september 3rd hawk to a um podcasts uh september 20th so it started june 9th that's when it was recorded that's when it went down. So on June 9th, written 6 slash 9, according to Google, and we all know the number 69 is symbolic, is a symbolic number for a sexual act. Um, but the day of June 9th, this, this earlier this year, June 9th, 2024, when they recorded the video, that was actually the third day of the third month for the Hebrew religious side of the calendar, written three slash three. The reason why the Hebrew calendar part is interesting, outside of seeing the number 33 again, uh, rather, the Hebrew calendar is a Jewish calendar. 
And after going viral, she went on Howie Mandel's podcast in July after her birthday. Howie himself is Jewish, of course. And he did a DNA test that showed Haley is 97% Jewish. I don't know how to pronounce that name, so I don't want to pronounce it and mess it up and offend people. Ashkana, Ashkanazi? I don't, I don't want to do it. I know I'm going to get made fun of. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. But yeah, uh, the DNA test shows she's 97% Jewish. I don't know how to say that word. I don't want to say it. Of course, speculation says this DNA test was probably just a skit. It wasn't real. And that's fine. Uh, it very well could be the case. And that's okay. But one thing is clear. The words Ashkenazi Jewish, I think Ashkenazi, did I pronounce it right? Ashkenazi Jew, Jewish equals 69. I'll show you guys right here. Copy, paste. Copy, paste. 69. Now, the day she originally went viral, or I should say the day that they, the video was originally recorded, was on June 9th, written 6 slash 9. And we know that the number 69 is a symbol uh, for a sex act. Uh, and this whole ordeal is all about sex to begin with. You know, so it's interesting that she was, you know, they did a skit where she's Jewish and she goes on the Jewish podcast howie, howie uh, mendel's and they say she's ashkenazi jewish and that actually comes out to some to 69 which is a sexual act which is also the day that she recorded the Haktua video june 9th now the number 69 is a reflection of 96 and welch celebrated her birthday in july this year on the 96th day of the hebrew religious side of the calendar perfect timing perfect timing for her to record a video on six slash nine with her birthday coming up on the 96th day, so on and so forth. The main coin that everyone is talking about today that got rug pulled was officially released or slash went live Wednesday night, December 4th. December 4th. And December 4th was the third day of the third month for the Hebrew civil side of the calendar, written 3 slash 3. So let's just recap here. Haley goes viral or records a viral video on the third day of the third month for the Hebrew religious side of the calendar. And then she goes live with a meme coin that scammed a lot of the people that follow her uh, on the third day of the third month for the Hebrew civil side of the calendar. Again, the word sex equals 33. She was born on the 13th of July, written 13 slash 7, 137, the 33rd prime in Tennessee, which sums to 137. You can even write out the word sex and it sums to 48. I think we already did that. Sex sums to 48 as well. And if you just write out 48, it also sums to 137. But yeah, so interesting numbers, I guess. Um, you know, who knows if she was the mastermind behind the rug pull. Crypto rug pull, I don't know. Uh, but I don't think she's like this innocent person either. You know, I just don't buy it. But uh, yeah, so interesting. That's what I found for Haley Welch is if anyone was curious. I was curious a little bit. I just saw the rug pulling and uh, coffee, zombie coffee or something like that, calling her out in the in the open uh, discussion that they had. And it was hilarious. And so I just wanted to see if there's any numbers on Haley that, you know, kind of made sense with, you know, the type of work that I do with sports. You know, sometimes I'll try and do some of that with news. Not a whole lot because I just don't. If, you, if you've been with my channel long enough, you know, I just the news decodes. I just I just can't get behind all the time just because there's no proof that they're right. With sports, you know, you're right because you won the game with news. There's no clear indication on whether you're right or wrong with your decode because there's no winner, winner or loser at, at the end of it. So people who do news codes swear that they're 100 percent right 100 percent of the time. And then when they do the sports decodes, guess what? They're not right 100 percent of the time, are they? No. In fact, it's quite the opposite. They're mostly wrong. And so it's just like, how does that? So you do the same thing with you do with the sports and you do the same thing you do with news, but you're always wrong with news, but yet somehow, or you're always wrong with sports, but yet somehow you're always right with news. That doesn't, that doesn't math. The math isn't math in there. I'm sorry, but sometimes I'll dabble in some uh, news stories just for the fun of it. I don't take it too seriously, but 
this is what I got. Hopefully this was interesting. I really appreciate you guys watching. I really appreciate the support. I'll see you guys in the next video.